Hello. This video is for you if you want to learn everything there is to know about the Terra Luna coin, the Terra project, and what the project's price will be in 2023. This is so that I can give you complete information about the Terra Luna coin. Please take note that this video is not financial advice before we continue. Before attempting to take any actions about any of the cryptocurrencies I discuss, always conduct your own research. Please click the like and subscribe buttons as well to aid the YouTube algorithm in spreading this message. Without further ado, let's begin the conversation. One year after its disastrous crash, Terra and its sibling coin Luna have traveled the cryptosphere on an unpredictable trip. Observers have been on edge as a result of their stunning highs, devastating lows, and recent signs of rebirth. Du Quan, the creative mind behind this universe, has personally traveled through a turbulent period. He has received praise, scorn, and strange disappearances before making unexpected reappearances. Du Quan, a Stanford University alumnus with prior experience at Apple and Google, is the creator of Terraform Labs, an ambitious project built on blockchain technology. With the help of the Terra USD, UST, and Luna, Luna currencies, the lab sought to establish a decentralized financial network. As an algorithmic stablecoin backed by the floating rate cryptocurrency Luna, UST was intended to maintain a consistent value of one United States dollar. By March 2022, Luna had reached an all-time high price of around $120 per token, spawning a devoted fanbase known as Lunatics, with Quan serving as their king. However, this crypto utopia didn't last long, and by May 2022, Terra and Luna had dramatically crashed. On whether to call it a Ponzi scheme or a rug pull swindle, the media was split. An unprecedented unstaking of UST was the first in a string of bad circumstances that led to the tragic fall of Luna and UST on May 7, 2022. The sudden removal of almost $2 billion in UST from the Anchor Protocol set off a chain reaction that finally brought about the demise of both UST and Luna. The value of UST dropped below its peg, dropping to $0.91 cents from its stable $1 as a sizable amount of the unstaked UST was sold. As a result of this devaluation, traders went into a frenzy and began to take advantage of the situation by trading 91 cents of UST for $1 worth of Luna. Due to the arbitrage opportunity that the depegging of UST presented, additional UST was sold, which furthered its depreciation. The excessive minting of Luna as a result of the panicked UST sale caused an unexpected increase in the amount of Luna in circulation. The value of Luna fell precipitously as a result of an excess supply and a lack of demand. As a result of the depegging and the freefall of Luna's value, cryptocurrency exchanges began to delist Luna and UST pairs, which made the problem worse. This action effectively left Luna stranded and forced its abandonment because it was practically worthless. In this case, one may anticipate the LFG to intervene liquidating its Bitcoin holdings to purchase Luna and therefore calming the market. Selling Bitcoin may put pressure on the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, and the LFG's war chest had limited resources, so this had two major negatives. The LFG would be unable to maintain Luna and UST if it sold all of its Bitcoin. Please take notice that the Anchor Protocol which provided appealing interest rates of about 20% on US deposits before they were lowered to roughly 18% just days before the crash, provided additional support for the stability of the UST. A Quan founded corporation called Luna Foundation Guard, LFG, had been purchasing Bitcoin, BTC, building up a sizable hoard of $1.5 billion in BTC and other cryptocurrencies. The LFG offered a solid safety net for the struggling Terra and Luna ecosystems with its audacious pledge to buy up to $10 billion worth of Bitcoin. The original Terra Luna coin, which was connected to the previous chain and is now known as Terra Classic, is now known as Terra Classic, or LUNC. On May 28, 2022, a new chain's Genesis block was created, resulting in the creation of LUNC which takes the history of the old Terra Luna coin into this next era. 
Like its predecessor, LUNC functions as the mechanism that keeps Terra Classics stablecoin, Terra USD, UST, stable. The fundamental features of LUNC are unaffected by the new branding, maintaining continuity within the Terra Classic ecosystem. Du Quan's life has been turbulent since Terraform Labs' disastrous failure and the demise of the cryptocurrencies Luna and Terra USD, characterized by legal troubles and extra national intrigue. Quan left a trail of financial ruin behind him when he left for Singapore in April 2022 just as the two digital currencies were about to crash. The ecosystem as a whole collapsed from $60 billion to ashes, with an estimated 200,000 investors suffering large losses. In the midst of this financial catastrophe, Quan was nowhere to be seen. After receiving a red notice from Interpol for alleged fraud and financial crimes related to the demise of Luna and Terra USD, he became an international wanted man. Investigators followed Quan's trail to Serbia, where he founded a new business. However, in the neighboring nation of Montenegro, the law ultimately caught up with him. Quan and a second South Korean national, Han, were detained by Montenegrin police on March 23, 2023, as they tried to use Costa Rican passports to board an aircraft to Dubai. Han Chong Jun is thought to have served as Terraform Labs' previous CFO. Han and Quan, also known as Quan Du Hung, were accused of using counterfeit personal documents. The bail amount for each was imposed at $437,000 by the Podgorica court. The court later overturned it, though. Both guys entered not guilty pleas to the accusations despite their difficult legal situation. In the meantime, Quan's extradition was being pursued by Seoul and U.S. officials in connection with the terraform failure. It is necessary for Quan's legal trip in Montenegro to come to a close first, though, in order for any potential extradition to take place. According to his Montenegrin attorney and the nation's justice minister, Quan must first go through a legal proceeding for traveling with forged documents. If proven guilty, he may spend up to five years in prison in Montenegro. In the midst of these court processes, Quan took an unexpected action. When questioned about his financial resources and how he expected to pay the bail, he remained mute. Instead, he claimed that his wife, who is a co-owner of a $3 million South Korean apartment, would take care of his bail. This action raised questions about whether Quan had concealed substantial sums of money gained through the suspected crypto scam. Du Quan is still in Montenegro right now, under police observation, and dealing with the repercussions of his deeds. His transformation from the CEO of a promising blockchain company to a wanted man on the run serves as a harsh reminder of the dangers and unpredictability inherent in the turbulent world of cryptocurrency. Finally, although Terra, Luna, and Du Quan's future is still up in the air, the lessons discovered on their voyage will surely influence the direction taken by the larger crypto community. According to the coin market cap, Luna Classic is currently trading for $0.406. With a $376 million in market capitalization, a $442 million in fully diluted market capitalization, and a $20 million in 24-hour trading volume, down 38.22%. In regards to the concerns raised at the beginning of the film, I continue to believe Terra Luna Classic will eventually pump. Even though I realize it's taking a while, I want you to know that everything will proceed according to schedule very soon. Terra Luna's situation is not a minor one. Many investors lost millions of dollars as a result of the fall. Once more, I believe that the investors are to blame for the delay in the Luna Classic coin. After experiencing its crash, Luna Classic is a difficult stock to sell to investors. To be brief, I want you, the investors, to continue to think that all of these things take time. I kindly ask that you consider Terra Luna Classic a long-term project rather than a quick money scheme. Because you would burn yourself if you thought about Terra Luna as a way to become rich quick.
I don't think the price will reach a dollar threshold in 2023 the way things are going. However, I'm positive that a new zero would be eliminated, which is why I predicted the price of Terra Luna Classic. If you'd like to receive more content from Terra Luna, kindly subscribe. The video will come to an end here. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and make good invest. Ments. Thanks.